For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney here with Damiano Coletti of Airspan to learn a little bit about the company and how they approach small cells. But first off, Damiano, I want to say congratulations on the Glomo Award that you all won. Thank you very much, Sean. So, yes, the award's for the best mobile breakthrough technology, and we're really proud and honored of the work we've done with Sprint to finally make small cells uh, a truly scalable technology and deliver massive network densification as a stepping stone to uh, 5G. So the Magic Box is an all wireless small cell. Can you tell us a little bit more about the technology and the product? Absolutely. So it's, it's based on uh, LTE UE relay. So it connects to the macro site. And what it does is it, you simply plug it into a wall, it self configures, gets its timing and everything from, from, from the macro, and on a separate dedicated frequency allows uh, you know, Sprint and other operators to use their higher band frequency for indoor coverage or you know, cell edge coverage. And how this, you know, the, 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 the transformational benefit and why this is really a breakthrough uh, comes from the fact that we are actually improving the efficiency of existing macro network infrastructure. So my cell phone, your cell phone right now have very low gain antennas, they are omnidirectional, and what we bring in our uh, LTE relay technology is the fact that there is a very high order MIMO, 4x8, we have uh, directional antennas, higher gain, so you're making sure that whenever the, the macro cell connects to the, to, to the magic box or to the, you know, the small cell, you're maximizing the modulation scheme at cell edge, which means that the macro is actually improving in efficiency, which is what, and sometimes it gets confused with a repeater, which is the opposite case because it actually drains the capacity of the existing macro. And what the, while you're doing this and while you're improving the, the macro network, you are solving the problem of indoor coverage and capacity. As we know, 80% of all data is consumed indoors. There's plenty of statistics on that. But how, how do you get there? How do you, how, how do, you do that? And site acquisitions are a huge problem for, for, this, this, uh, for operators to, to be able to deploy. Um, and if you're able to uh, move the model to a, where you're shipping a product via FedEx to, to the customer, improving their user experience and your network at the same time, Magic Box is truly a well-deserved name. And Magic Box is a great product, but it's just one of many in the Airspan portfolio. Can you tell us about some of the other products that you have that address these uh, varying small cell needs that operators have? Sure, absolutely. So we touched a little bit on you know site acquisition. And, you know, we've been in the wireless space for almost 20 years, and um, actually over 20 years, and we have uh, all kinds of form factors and all kinds of applications that we serve. So uh, we have uh, outdoor, which can go from you know, 400 milliwatts all the way to 20 watts. And all of these are in compact, integrated um, integrated formats with baseband and radio in the same, in the same package. You know, by integrating these two, we, we simplify the, the, the site acquisition. So the, the pole or the, the light pole or, the, or, or have you on, on office building becomes far simpler. And just like the Air Unity Magic Box, we have the same technology that can work with the outdoor. So you simply need to connect power and you're up and running in a matter of minutes. Thanks also to the distributed self-optimizing network software that we include in all of our base stations, it makes it a uh, technology that can continue to learn and continue to improve as it's being deployed. Um, a, a very good example of how we've been able to crack the zoning problem is uh, we have a product called Airstrand, which is uh, for uh, perhaps you're a fiber operator, you, are, you know, you have coax cables hanging strands of uh, uh, fiber or you know, in rights of way where there's traffic lights. You simply put this space station up, it connects to your DOCSIS network, and you can use uh, lightly licensed frequency like CBRS in the United States. So it opens up a whole, a whole new market. Um, and we've, we've progressively, uh, throughout the years, taken larger, larger power and larger form factor and made it miniature. So I mentioned Airstrand, of course our indoor portfolio, but also uh, we have a product called Airpole, which is essentially a, a, an integrated relay and a small cell which can 
platform also beam switching and beam shaping technology. So no, no one has to go with a truck to the, to the lamppost to configure the antenna. You can dynamically choose the antennas and how they are radiating to the different areas where the coverage is actually needed. So Damiano, as we move from LTE to gigabit LTE and on to 5G, you just mentioned a lot of parallel trends that are really shaping that space. The convergence of fiber coax and RF, and then the uh, introduction of new spectrum like CBRS. So as we see that evolution continue and commercial 5G to come to the market, how's Airspan going to continue to evolve to support operators taking that journey? We're, we're definitely, you know, small cells are our cornerstone technology in 5G, so we're definitely uh, moving, moving quickly uh, to, to support the needs of operators. But I think that there's a, an important point to be made on, on you know, 4G still today, and we'll go, we'll see that in a second. We're able to take our small cell infrastructure and when it's densely deployed, aggregate those cells uh, using our VRAM uh, Air Symphony platform and deliver gigabit LTE today on ultra dense. 4G architectures, so essentially delivering 5G enhanced mobile broadband gigabit LTE for, for operators' networks today. We support uh, LAA, LTEU, um, and have a very long track record of 3.5 gigahertz, so CBRS is something we, we, we value. A great, you know, perhaps a use case would be uh, fiber operator 3.5. This is, a, this is a fantastic way to leverage those frequencies and you know, take advantage of you know, wider channel sizes.